Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau and in this video I would like to show you how you can run code in Rapunzel. And Rapunzel is a code editor for numerical computing with Python and R. So I will, show, I will demonstrate it with uh, Python code. So here we have a very, very basic, uh, basic document with three print statements. And the main way to run code is either using this button, the run selection cell or current line, or this button, the run project or file button F5. Now, run and run selection cell or current line has a keyboard shortcut, and that's F9. And if I press F9, um, various things can happen. If I have if I have not selected any any code, then the current line will be selected. And if the current line is actually not valid code by itself, Rapunzel will sort of auto detect which lines it needs to select in order to get one line of valid code. Just to illustrate that, say for example, if I have this. Up, if I spread line four out over, over these three lines, and if I then press F9, Rapunzel will automatically detect that it actually needs to select all of these three lines in order to, uh, to get a valid command. Um, so basically F9 without any kind of selection means uh, run the current line. If you do select something, then all the entire selection will be executed. So F9 now will result in line three, line four, and line five. There's another thing that might happen. If you have a document, a, uh, a, a, a source code file that has cells in it, and cells are kind of a subdivision of your document. It sounds a little bit abstract, but if you're familiar with Spider or MATLAB, you probably know the concept. So let's remove this and say print up cell one. And then I do a, co a comment that is just two uh, percentage sign signs. And then below that, I say cell two. What this means is that everything here above this percentage sign is cell one, and this is cell two, and you can create as many cells as you want. If Rapunzel detects that there are cells in the document and you then pre press F9, it will actu actually execute the entire cell. So hop, F9, and then it will execute the cell. So basically F9 has a very intelligent way of determining what kind of code you probably want to execute, a very intuitive logic to select exactly that code that you probably want to execute. Um, then there is the, uh, the run project or file button. If you do that, it does what you would probably expect. Basically, it runs the entire file. And it does that here in terminal saying run up, running.py. Um, in some cases, that's what you want to do, right? You just have an entire script and you want to not run one line or anything. You want, just want to run the entire script. And that's what this button will do. Um, again, also that it is called run, uh, run file or project. A run project or file. And that means that actually Rapunzel, before running the file directly, it will first check if there is a project file defined. What does that mean? Well, here I will show uh, using this button, the toggle folder browser, the current project uh, folder, which is has almost nothing in it, right? It's just a dummy thing that I created for this, uh, this uh, video. But let's say Control Shift O to open the, the project folder, quick switcher, and I search for Rapunzel. No, you know what? Let's search for Open Sesame. Up. Then it will open Open Sesame as a project folder. And you will see that Open Sesame has a file called Rapunzel.jaml. If I open this, you will see that what it will, it will actually do, it has, it has uh, some, some logic in it that is explained in more detail in the documentation. But basically, it's a JAML file that has a run key. And under the run key, you can have a bunch of commands. And then whenever any kind of you have any kind of file open from that project folder and you press uh, run project or file, it will not directly run that file, but it will use the, this Rapunzel.jml file as a kind of entry point to start your entire program. And you see how that makes a lot of sense, right? Because say, for example, you're working on a big project that actually, that a big program that has a lot of different files, then very rarely you actually want to directly execute that file. But instead, what you want to do is, for example, if you compile, see if you can compile the, the, the program or run some kind of entry point of the program or something like that. And that is what this, uh, what this project file allows you to do. So if, I have, if I'm in here and I would run, up, run project or file, then it would actually execute these commands in the, in the Python terminal. And you will see that it starts uh, Open Sesame, which is a program that I'm working on. And actually Rapunzel is strictly speaking a set of extensions for Open Sesame. So they're related. Okay, so I hope that I've given you some idea of how you can execute code in Rapunzel. 
um, with this very intuitive logic that is aimed to executing exactly the lines of code that you as a human being expect to be executed when you're running code. Thank you very much for your attention.